So I'm following along with the guide online. I technically already rooted this, but I'm making this video again. So the first thing you are going to want to do is, let me just turn down the brightness here, is I'm following the guide online and it says to enable USB debugging. So to be able to do that, go down to general, or if you have it, just scroll down to about phone. And then from there, I don't care about app updates. You're going to go down to not status. Uh, you're going to go down to software info. Scroll on build number seven times until it says you are a developer. Developer options. Okay. And then before you even plug this in, you want to do USB debugging. Okay. And then you want to go down to enable. And then you go down to open developer options. And you want to enable OEM unlock, wherever that is. Okay, enable OEM unlock for me is grayed out, but it should be, you have to check that. Then what you want to do is put your, plug your phone into your PC laptop. Change, I'm going to change this from, to file transfer over here, I'm going to click always, use always. And then from here, what you want to do is you go onto your, uh, you go over here to a new tab, and then what you want to do is, I'm going to X this out, you want to download a thing called ADB. And to be able to do that, I'm going to put the links down below for you, but what I am going to do is I'm going to find the LG G5's forum for this. I'll just put the links down below to the download parts you need. So what you need to do is just you can follow along with this. You can find the twerp on page. First you need to download, unlock it, blah blah blah. Okay, so to be able to do this, you need the ADB folders. And To be able to do that, I'm also going to copy, um, okay, so I'm on that, so I'm just going to copy this um, page here, right here, C, T, V. Now what you want to do is you do want to download, you want to, I like this site because I think it's okay. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you use build number one and download it. So I already have it on my device, but what you want to do is first you want to get into uh, you need LG Bridge, ADB debugging. You want to go into ADB. So I don't remember how I did that, but ADB should be automatically downloaded on your phone. So once you do that, you can get it onto your phone. So I will use the second link uh, here. Uh, well, actually, I'm using the second link already. I'll use the first link. That will get me over to here. And then once you do that, it'll tell you how to do it. You're going to want to, okay, you're going to want to blah, 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 pre wiper was it, download twerp recovery. So you want to use the get root install twerp recovery. I'm going to LG Aristo. Click here. To download the fully to be set up for Windows and then you extract it. Then what you want to do is you want to go into your PC here, this PC, depending on what you're running, double click, find ADB. I think it's uh, shift key plus right mouse key, open PowerShell window here. Whoops, I don't want that. And then now connect your PC to your phone using to your mobile phone using the USB cable. Once that is enabled, you want to go into ADB. Um, here we go. Let me just make this smaller. Reboot bootloader. 
So just type enter. And then what will happen is you're going to click always allow from this computer. It'll pop up. And then what will happen is it'll go like that. Um, I'm going to do the same command again. Enter. It'll basically turn off, turn back on. Yours will show a little bit of a different prompt over here. And what that prompt will show is basically a guide to, there we go, to all this. Now what you want to do is technically, you're, if you don't check, so you're going to do fast boot devices. You're going to click enter, it will show. Then you want to type in the command, once you've down, now you want to download twerp recovery from the link right over you want to download the twerp recovery from over here do it over here to media fire one you're gonna click download it will take its time you okay so then what you do not now what you're going to do is I'm just going to extract this into recovery image straight onto your ADB folder and once you did that you can copy uh, this right here I don't I have it as recovery dot image which is what it downloads as but so you right click and just delete that part of it Re type in recovery make sure it says recovery dot image uh, okay finished now, if it says, okay, finished, writing finished, then what you want to do is you want to do this. It says if the buff screenshot shows, it means your flash has been completed. Now you need to unplug the USB cable. But first, it doesn't even show, your LG does not show up over here. So, now to verify that it has been installed, you're going to want to hold the, so unplug it, make sure this has enough battery when you do it too, um, unplug it, take out the battery, you can leave that out, and put it back in, and then temporarily release the power button, immediately press and hold it back until you see this. So it takes some time. So, three, two, one. Unplug the cable, power it off, and then first thing you hold the volume down and power button. One, two, three. And once you see the LG logo, you're going to want to reboot. Um, you will, okay, so until it, you will immediately press the power until you see the white prompt screen, use the volume down key, power to okay. Press yes to start. Press the power button to continue, and it should open up into Team Win Recovery Project. Swipe to, okay, I'm gonna never show this screen during boot again. Now, you've in, in, successfully installed that. Now what you want to do is you want to reboot to your system. Now while that is rebooting, you are going to want to go now here to the link that says XDA developer um, help root but I have down here below it says because once you do this it'll tell you to download you have to press the power button key to, to boot up your phone when you do this afterwards so there is an Android mobile thread I will Android Forms thread, recovery tour, Metro PCS. That was the original thing that we did here. So once you did that, you want to download a bootloader. Once you unlock the bootloader, you want to download no verify opt and you want to install super su.zip. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to link no verify opt right here whoops 
Now the ones that you actually need will be linked down below here. But once I did this no verify opt encrypt, you then also want to copy the chain fire link so that you have that and paste it. Now I'll choose the, the dot zip. It's a one megabyte zip. And then over here, you just click on that download update dash super user dot zip. Now what I'm going to do is I'll plug it back in. I hope it registers it. Uh oh. Okay, so it registered it as USB file transfer. Now, what you want to do is inside of the inside of the standard internal storage for the phone, you want to actually copy no verify opt and update zip. So I will go here, type in N no verify opt. Whoops. And control C control V and then what you want to do the same thing to update super SU and then what you can do is once that is done you can uh, take out the battery to your phone again because that won't do anything bad to it wait three seconds one two three and hope it turns on to this mode if it doesn't do the same thing again, volume down and power, let go of the power for a second and do it again. Yes. And then click yes to start. Press the power key to continue. And to be safe now, definitely put your, um, definitely, definitely put your, put this back in. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into install you're going to first install according to the link. You are going to first install no verify opt. You're going to swipe to confirm and then do it. Then you do update. Whoops. Then you do update super SU. Wait one to two minutes. Phone may take a couple minutes to turn back off and on. But since I've already had my phone rooted, It'll automatically pop up with this. It'll automatically boot, after, boot up after a while, but I press the power button each time. And then this will actually automatically show that you have root. So it'll take its time to boot up the first time, but once it does boot up, you definitely want to set up your phone again. This will Then it, you will have your original file here, which is the rooting of, well, not rooting, but which would be this part of the phone here. Then you set it up, everything's good, and you can go let it load. It's going to take its time because I flashed the Torp again. I already have some apps on here, but what you need to do is you open up Super SU, and once that's opened, it'll tell you to go through some stuff, let it go. It will not reboot itself. Then you go over here, It'll prompt you, it'll tell you to accept um, to accept the super user permission verify root. It is properly installed. So you now have installed root on your LG K20 or LG Aristo. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like. Also, subscribe down below if you are new. And if you have anything else that seems cool, maybe your root for the K20 Plus. Please leave it down below because I will check it out. And just as always, enjoy the rest of your day.